I'm Shelley Dunstone, Recovering Perfectionist, and these are my five ways to get past your perfectionism and just do it. And these are based on my experience as a lawyer and cabaret performer. Well, my first tip is to put the thing into perspective. How much does it really matter? You know, I used to feel mortified if I made a mistake on stage. For example, if I forgot my lyrics or if I cracked on a high note. Um, but these days I remind myself that, you know, the mistake is just a little moment in the whole performance. It probably doesn't matter that much. If the audience enjoys the show, they probably won't remember that moment where I made a mistake. Anyone can make a mistake and really it's the important thing is how you deal with it and how you recover from it. The second point is to, to focus on what I term fitness for purpose rather than perfectionism. So if you're doing some work, instead of asking yourself, is it perfect? Ask yourself, will it do the job? It's better to send out a piece of work that is functional then continue to obsess over it and miss the deadline or work too many hours for the amount of payment that you're going to receive. My third point is that you're going to do the best you can with the level of skill you currently have. When I'm preparing for a cabaret show, it's not the time to work on my singing technique. There's far too much else to think about. I need to memorize the song lyrics. I need to work on my interpretation of the song. And, you know, I also need to prepare the patter of what I'm going to say between the songs. And it's also really important that when I'm on stage performing, I'm not thinking about my singing technique. I need to be in the moment. So whilst I do practice my singing when I'm preparing for a show, I remind myself that after the show, there will be time to focus on that technique some more and that when I do this show, I'm going to do the best I can with the technique I have developed to date. Um, number four is to recognise mistakes as opportunities to improve and to learn. You know, when I first perform a song on stage, a new song for an audience, it's a bit of a risk because there's lots of chance that something could go wrong. But when I make a mistake in that song, I know it tells me which bits I now need to work on. So it tells me what I need to focus on in my practice sessions. For example, bits that are vocally challenging, words that are hard to remember. And next time I get up on stage and sing that song, I'll feel much more confident and do it better. And number five is that excellence is subjective. You know, what you consider excellent may not be appreciated by somebody else. So just get the job done, send it out and see what happens, see what sort of reaction that you get. You, know, you might receive some feedback that is really helpful to you and certainly much more helpful than continuing to obsess all about the job all by yourself. So there you are, five tips to getting past perfection and just doing the job. Um, just to remind you of the five, number one, put it into perspective. Number two, focus on fitness for purpose. Number three, do the best you can with the level of skill you currently have. Number four, recognise mistakes as opportunities to learn and improve. And excellence is subjective. All the best. <laughs>